Hello everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. My name is Daniel o. Today I'm going to showcase around running Quarkus faster with the quick starts on developer sandbox. So what is the developer sandbox? The developer sandbox uh, fundamentally provides developers with a private OpenShift environment in a shared and multi-tenant OpenShift cluster, which is a pre-configured set of developer tool. For example, Core Radio Workspace is Web IDE uh, application development environment. And then the developer can easily create containers from uh, their source code from Git repository or even Docker file, as well as build a new application using sample application with the stacks uh, provided. And developer can also add services such as a database from uh, existing OpenShift temporary catalog or deploy ham chart. And there are so many benefits from a uh, developer sandbox. It's a free uh, cluster. Uh, the developer only needed to do is sign up the Red Hat developer website. So let's get started. So here to show URL, you can access the developer sandbox uh, using Red Hat so link in a slash dev dash sandbox. When you access the developer sandbox, uh, you, you need to first uh, sign up a uh, free credential uh, developer at Red Hat.com website. And after that, uh, you can just log in with your credential and then at a time, uh, your developer sandbox cluster will be spin up in the next five minutes. So once you enter the, your developer sandbox and go to open the developer's console, you can find that the multiple and the various you can find the various quick start, how to get started your application development and deploy specific solution uh, with the OpenShift container platform. So here is a new uh, Quarkus quick start here. So get started with the Quarkus using Hamchart and then getting started with the Quarkus using uh, source to image build. And then you could already find another existing one, the Quarkus application binding. Existing Quarkus quick start is to bind your Quarkus application to streaming, uh, such as Apache Kafka. So today I'm going to go through uh, two quick starts, uh, brand new ones, like a get starting with the ham chart and S2I build. Okay, let's get into the demo. Okay, first of all, as I already mentioned earlier, let's uh, access the URL, a red hand slash dev dash sandbox. Once you access the URL, you can find all detail of uh, what is sandbox and there are some practice, how to use that and what kind of benefit you can have as a developer. And then click on Get Started uh, the Sandbox. I already signed up. So after you sign up, you just click on Start your Sandbox. Uh, and then it uh, redirects to a login page with a single sign-on and just click on Developer Sandbox. Once you log in, open the cluster, and then you can just go to uh, Quick Start Click and then find the Quarkus related the Quick Start here. And then there are three quick starts already uh, built in your developer sandbox. So let's uh, try to get started with the Quarkus using s 2 build. As you see, there are six steps to finish this quick start uh, enablement. And then also you can find the, what kind of benefit you can have with the Quarkus application development, like a container first and unified configuration. Let's try to click on the first step, create a new Quarkus application. The first step is click on the perspective switcher, like a developer standpoint, and click on add menu, and then you can find the multiple uh, perspective you can uh, get starting, like a sample application from Git repository or dev file, etc. For with the developer sandbox, you already have uh, two namespaces, like a uh, your username dash dev, username dash stage, so you don't need to create a new one. It's already limited resources for you. So we just use uh, that uh, namespace. Click on Git uh, to import your application. Here's the sample uh, example, Quarkus application, like a quick start. And the container directory is a getting start. You can actually add any other uh, Git repository you want, but just follow this quick start just uh, using an existing uh, example. You can put in the more uh, configuration here, for example, uh, has check or resource limit. So once you click on has check, you can add your regis and libraries probe. Once you click on uh, create a button, uh, the Quarkus uh, tangible icon just shows up, which means that your Quarkus application got starting to deploy on um, open the cluster with this uh, user namespaces. And then uh, 
you just check your work. So do you see the Quarkus application and then do you see Quarkus deployment, etc. Now uh, you can just make sure uh, everything is working along with the quick start instruction. So click on uh, the icon, you can find the deployment and etc. So go to next uh, step, just view view states. So once you click on the build icon and you can find the, the logs detail, uh, how build is working and the click on and the last thing is to check your work. So you have to see the complete status in the build logs. It takes uh, uh, maybe a few seconds or a few minutes to complete uh, the all build strategy. So during the build, uh, the build process, uh, Chrome, you'll get it part of in a maven packaging build and then containerized application and push it into internal container registry. Okay, so move on to the next step. Just a few associate GitHub priority to what kind of application is implement. But the one of the beauty of the uh, sandbox, uh, you we already installed the core ready of space for your application development environments. So when you click on the core ready of space icon, it will bring you to a uh, core ready of space directly uh, instead of go to Git repository which means the developer can edit your application code itself and deploy it back to OpenShift container platform right away. So it's the one of the beauty of a developer sandbox for developer. And once you develop your application, deploy it to OpenShift the backend course, uh, just like a cloud level uh, development environment. So just take a look at that to get started a uh, project. You can find the hello and the greeting endpoint and here is the CDI injection when you pass down a parameter and then it will return with the hello something like output. The next step you pod status and then you hover your pod icon you can find the running status and then we just uh, success to uh, pod deployment and then the next step and then number five is to change the deployment icon with the quarkus the, the default is the java icon so for this application based on Quarkus framework, so we need to make sure uh, this part based on Quarkus. In order to that, just delete the existing uh, label and then uh, the new label at the openstreetmap.io slash runtime equal Quarkus. So there are uh, already predefined icon to uh, differentiate your multiple part in the same namespace. So now you can see the, the beautiful Quarkus icon on your part. And the next step, so make sure everything is verified you're working. And then the last step, we want to make sure the application functionality is working using rod URL. And the endpoint, one of the endpoint hello, which will be return hello. And another endpoint is hello desk greeting with some parameter like uh, my name is Daniel. And then you can find that the return is hello Daniel. It's a pretty working. So it's so just a six step, how to get started with the focus application development using uh, developer sandbox as well as core ready of spaces. So it takes just five minutes to learn how focus works in developer sandbox. Let's try to uh, do another quick start once again, just for fun. Okay, this is uh, starting uh, with the focus using ham chart. So ham chart is one of the popular to uh, manage the configuration and runtime environment on Kubernetes cluster. So luckily we have a hand chart already uh, included in developer sandbox. For DevOps team perspective, they can define the standard Quarkus application runtime environment from developer sandbox. Okay, so click on hand chart and then, uh, just search Quarkus and then just create this ham chart to install, and you can uh, change the configuration from uh, the GUI view or the YAML view, whatever you can select your preferred way, and then just click on ham chart. So there are a lot of configuration, but we just use the default configuration along with this instruction, and then check your work to verify your working. So as you see, you can find your new purpose application, and you click on the detail, maybe you can find the image pool backup, but don't worry about that. So click on uh, ham chart to release UI, you can find the notification here. You might have some image pool error or image pool backup error because the build is still undergoing. So next step, you're gonna uh, check it out, your build process status. 
go to build load just like we did in the previous corpus sty quick start and you can find all detailed uh, logs here and once the push is success and then uh, your corpus application is now running on developer sandbox OpenShift cluster so i think it's so we done in the step two and then i just click on yes every, everything is okay and the next step go back to topology view and the corpus deployment is working i just the uh, checked it out once already and then click on yes and then go to next and the last step just to check all application functionality using a lot url and then go to hello if this application you can see to getting start application example so go to greeting uh, like a primary record like for example ham so hello ham okay so today we're gonna run about a uh, corpus application development using quick start uh, which he provide in developer sandbox so now developer just sign up uh, freely in the developer sandbox at developers at redhead.com and then they can access developer sandbox and go through uh, quick start how to develop focus application using s 12 from your git repository and you can actually use the existing sample application but also a little bit more operation team perspective or even a devops team perspective you can set it up your standard focus uh, runtime environment using ham chart uh, how to do that using quick start instruction thank you for watching if you have more uh, interesting question around the quick start with the Quarkus and developer sandbox. Please let us know. We are more than happy to address your question right away. Thanks again. Have a good rest of the day.